So in this example, we're being asked to evaluate the expression and we are not allowed to use a calculator. And you can see here that in this expression, we are dealing with factorials. For those who are unaware what a factorial is, right? It's going to be this little explanation point. And what it's saying is it's simply just going to be a product of integers starting at one and then going to that designated integer. So for example, if I have 12 factorial, I would write that out the following way. I would do one times two times three times four times five times six times seven times eight times nine times 10, times 11, and then times 12, right? That is going to be 12 factorial expanded out. But again, we cannot use a calculator, right? So we can't do this in our head. So we need to think about how we can simplify down this expression so we don't have to use a calculator. So since we're multiplying here, right? Remember, you can multiply in any order. So when you're multiplying numbers, you can multiply in any order and still get the same answer. So instead of starting at one, I'm gonna go in reverse here. I'm gonna start at 12 and work my way backwards, right? So for example, I'm gonna rewrite the numerator like this. I'm gonna do 12 times 11 times 10. And now at this point, I'm gonna write the rest as nine factorial, right? Because that's going to take care of the rest, all right? And why I did that is because on my denominator, I also have a nine factorial, right? And then a four factorial. So if you see here, right on my numerator and denominator, I have a nine factorial, that's going to cancel out, right? So now the numbers are getting a little more manageable to work with. So let's look at four factorial. How can we expand this out? Well, again, that's just going to be one times two times three times four, right? Again, I can multiply in any order here. So look, I have a 12 in my numerator. If I do three times four, that's also 12. So I'm gonna rewrite this the following way. 12 times 11 times 10, right? And then we said three times four is 12, so now I have one times two times 12, right? Now look what happens to the 12s, they cancel. Now I can definitely do this in my head, right? I know that 11 times 10 is just 110. All I have to do is add a zero onto 11. So 110, one times two is two. And then we know that 110 divided by two is going to be 55. All right, this is gonna be our final value. So we just evaluated the expression that contains factorials without using a calculator. Okay, and that is it.